All right, <clears throat> so today we are working on a 2005 or 2006 Mazda 6 wagon. And I want to help somebody out because this code that comes up really baffles a lot of people. So this car runs and drives just fine. It's been a one owner car. They've taken good maintenance of it. It comes in for oil changes often. Pretty good family cars, but they do have a couple of quirks. And the one quirk that seems to stump or cause a lot of frustration for people is the code for the EGR. It says something about a boost, low boost, or um, low flow for an EGR valve. And that's code number 2144, I believe. I'll correct myself in the description if that's not the case. Um, and I think I figured it out. So this is the V6 model. It's the dual overhead cam, 24 valve V6. I believe it is a three liter. And the EGR valve is located right here. I'm pointing to it. Normally you have your air intake, well, your throttle body and your air intake and your air filter right here. I have taken that off because I'm I need to get at the EGR valve. So the EGR valve is normally bolted up to this bracket right here on the intake manifold. I've got it loosened up. I'm just gonna pull the whole EGR valve out. I loosened it down below on the exhaust so it just pops right off. Don't lose the gasket, there's just two bolts that go through it. So I've been looking at it, trying to figure out what's causing the low flow. Uh, there wasn't a lot of carbon inside the valve itself. I did clear it out, clean it out, a little bit of carbon in there. Let me set this to the side. I'm going to set it right next down to, to the intake uh, track there. But I think I figured it out. So once you pull the EGR valve off, there's this tube assembly that's a stainless steel bracket, and the tube runs inside the plastic intake manifold, and there's a hole for the both cylinders, basically both banks of cylinders, for the upper bank and the lower bank. So let's pull that out. I've got it all undone. It looks something like this. Now if you look close at this tube, rotate it around, you'll see that there's a hole on the back side, on the side of the tube, and there's also a hole right there in the end. But look at that. It's completely, not completely, but it's plugged. Let me stick a screwdriver in there so I'll show you what I'm talking about here. See if I can get my light in here. See that little tiny hole? Let me put it over on the bench here take a better look at this Get some light on it all right so notice the size of the hole there that's probably a good three-eighths of an inch and this one's about a quarter watch this can you see that it's completely plugged with carbon I can take my screwdriver and it's all totally gummy that's our problem right there that is the code so the EGR is sensing low flow. In other words, it's not getting the correct flow from that bank. So I think if we drill this out, clean it up, pick it out, whatever it takes, we can fix this car and the owner will be really happy. It'll save a lot of frustration. I've been online uh, searching for answers and nobody seems to have figured this out. They've replaced EGR valves. They've replaced oxygen sensors, all kinds of things. But that's a real common problem is usually something gets plugged up with carbon. So I'm going to clean this up really good, put it back on the car, and I'm going to clear the codes and drive it, and I think it's going to be fine. So again, this is a 3.0 V6 in a 2006 Mazda 6 wagon. Uh, you have to remove the throttle body. Good idea to clean it up. And I just did that so I could look inside there to see where that tube went. Take the tube bracket off, clean it up. Also, you'll notice this car has a coolant junction here and one of the nipples has broke off. I didn't break it, but uh, it was just about ready to, it was leaking and I broke it in the sense that I wanted to see what would happen if I wiggled it. So I've got a new one of those coming. So those things, I can't believe how flimsy and plastic they are and I expect heat to go through them for a long time. You may want to replace that as well. They're about 20 bucks while you're in here. So there's your tip and trick for the day. This is a Mazda, like I said, 2006. The 2005s are about the same. They're neat cars, um, but they do have a couple of quirky problems like most cars do. So we're hoping we can get those ironed out. Again, 
it's a Mazda 6. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned, and hopefully I can help somebody with their EGR problems on their 2005-2006 Mazda 6.